What's up Dark Souls fans and welcome back to Praise the Sun. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Ricard's Rapier. Um, I've got this uh, set for sharp so it has improved dexterity scaling. I've got the Blessed Parrying Dagger for that health regen. I've got Elite Knight set on. Uh, I've got the Untrue Dark Ring, Sun Princess Ring, Life Ring, and Leo Ring. And then looking at my build, it's soul level 120 with 50 Vigor, 40 Endurance, 20 Vitality, 11 Strength, and 45 Dexterity for a total of 341 AR. So I am going to be checking this out with the Leo Ring to kind of see how much damage uh, that gets you. I think Leo Ring boosts your uh, your um, counterattacks by 15%, and on some weapons it is just like way too godly, um, and so I tend to not use it. Like especially with great swords that have stab attacks, like it's just ridiculous when you hit somebody with a fully charged R2 and it like one shots them. I actually don't need this, so for now I am going to throw on Chlorinthy Ring. Fuck it. Because all my skin is covered, so I don't care if I'm wrinkly looking. Touche, my friend! Ha ha! <laughs> Oh shit, yep, weapon art is unparryable. He knew I was baiting. That was smart. Gotcha. Good duel, Elias and all. I think you are dead, yep. Alright, sweet. Moving on. Let's grab somebody else. This weapon is pretty fucking cool. The weapon art is pretty damn nasty. I was worried that the Leo Ring would boost that weapon art's damage to like a ridiculous amount, but I'm pretty sure I nailed him on a counter hit there. I'm not like 100%, uh, but I'm pretty sure he was still in recovery. And uh, I didn't seem to get like a ridiculous amount of damage. I got like 667, which is pretty damn good for a weapon art that is that slow to wind up with. So I'm, I think I'm good with this. I think I am good. My whole... Like, being allergic to Leo Ring shit is really just because I feel like it um, ends fights way too quickly. Especially, you know, when you're using uh, something with, like, a really good charged R2, like uh, Black Knight Sword and stuff. Obviously, if I were in a tournament, I would use Leo Ring. I used it for my um, Onikiri build in that tournament uh, that Havoc hosted. But, um... For these training room videos, I tend to not- I don't really want to make the fights, like, boring or uninteresting. And I'm definitely not in the business of just, like, showing how OP a weapon is, you know? I like to show the cool strategic elements of the weapon. Rather than how much damage it can possibly get. Of course, due to the nature of the game, we end up finding stuff like Black Knight Greatsword's one-shot combo, but... That is... Just how the game works. <laughs> At least I wasn't using Leo Ring <laughs> when I did it. Because that one handed R2 on the Black Knight Greatsword would just be so disgusting with Leo Ring on. Speaking of disgusting, this weapon is disgusting. I have been kind of like half paying attention this entire time. And you can just dance fucking all over people. I didn't even realize that it had the same forward R1 as um, the S-Stock. I'm actually going to start working that in now. I love that move. Uh, if it's similar to the S-Stock, R1 forward R1 should be a true combo. I think... I don't know if that would be a true combo. But yeah, R1 forward R1 should definitely be a true combo. And R1 R1 forward R1 should catch the majority of people. Um... Because I think the uh, forward R1 comes out so quick that if you use it as your third hit, like your third R1 mash, so to speak, um, people who are trying to face tank parry you by mashing L2 while they're stun locked uh, shouldn't be able to get the parry. It comes out quicker than the third R1 typically would. As you see there, there's a huge delay, but R1, R1, forward R1, there's like almost none. And there's actually some speculation that that attack may be like entirely unparryable in general. I've seen a couple people comment that on my videos that that attack is unparryable, but I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't ever really looked it up to verify it, but it just seems like such a 
I don't know. It seems like an attack that comes out so fast, I would never even try to parry it anyway, so I wasn't really too concerned about whether or not it was parryable. But it does help me, if I'm using a rapier, to know that information. Holy shit, that was really good roll catching, my friend. Like, really, that was awesome. Oh yeah! How you like my roll catch, though, bro? Got the bleed proc at the end there, too, on the last possible hit. That was very cinematic, very anime. Good duel, man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was fucking cool. So the uh, R1-R1, forward R1, did not seem to work against that guy since he rolled away. It would probably catch people who were rolling close to you pretty easily. But if somebody's going to roll into you, there are probably better options for that, like your R2s, which would most likely do more damage. What does a rolling R2 accomplish? Alright. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Any different when it's charged? Of course not. Alright, that's cool. That's cool, though. I, um, you know, rapiers are something that, like, uh, I really, really, really like to use. Um, it's just, there, there's no other weapon in the game that kind of, like, offers this much control over the fight. Um, and you can just, like, dance in and just bounce back out, like, super quick. Um, I think they really kind of nailed down the feel that reapers, or not reapers, that rapiers are supposed to have in this game. Oh my god. Parried too late and my parry tried to catch the uh, spin part of it, but I have no idea what that parry timing is. Damn, you could have like killed me there, but he was probably out of stamina now I'm thinking about it. Nope. Stuffed, bro. Get stuffed. Oh, god damn. I tried to parry it, but I think I was just still in, in uh, recovery from that attack I threw out. Got him! Oh my god, he's not dead yet. That's alright. I really thought that was gonna work. Huh. Oh well. Well, good duel, man. And that's exactly what I mean there. That <laughs> that very last hit there is just so fun to like, kind of like gracefully like step between attacks and just poke people for the little bits of damage at a time. And uh, with Ricard's having the weapon art that it does, I feel like it's definitely the the most rewarding feeling rapier I have played with yet. Um, although I do want to spend some more time playing with the ones that have the actual stance, where you hold L2 and you go into this like weird fancy stance. And, uh, the R1 is like a lunge, and the, um, I think the R2 is sort of like a Ricard's light or something like that? I don't, I don't know. Um, but that seems pretty cool. I can't remember if the S-Stock had that. I've got really, really bad memory. The S-Stock might have had that, actually. <laughs> I don't remember what its weapon art did. Damn. Not a very memorable weapon, I guess. Although I did enjoy the uh, the move set on that one when I when I gave it a shot. Uh, the slashing R twos are just a ton of fun to use. Let's get some of these Ford R ones comboed in here. All right, let's do this anus. <laughs> the only way to write anus without being censored in FromSoft games. Poor Lacanus. Always censored. Oh man, you did not want to try to parry that. That looks like it was painful. I totally fucked it up and undid all the work that I did. Holy shit, hitbox porn? What was that? How did I get past that? Got him. Good duel, my friend. All right. Even the invader is impressed. I like my invaders to be easily impressed. <laughs> Thank you, Jolly Dark Moon. Ah, fuck. Had a little bit more range than I thought. So this matchup might be a little tough. 
due to the range disadvantage and the fact that we each have basically the same exact moveset. <laughs> That's alright, we'll work around it. Come on! Ah, oh my god, I was just out of range. Oh my god, I forget that that thing does that every fucking time. God damn it, I can't believe I ran into that. I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you think about that? Oh, what do you think about that? <laughs> Good duel, Dark Moon. Oh man, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Whoa, there were my gauntlets. All right, sweet. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> this move is so good for punishing people who are trying to bait you. I would probably not recommend taking on a bait playstyle against a uh, against a rapier. You're gonna have to be a lot more reactive. Like uh, in that guy's case. You know, the the only thing that I can do is come up to him with these little poke attacks, you know, maybe the weapon art, or these slightly slower poke attacks. All of which he could have hyper-armored through. Like, if he had taken up a reactive playstyle towards the end there with that great hammer, I'd have had a much harder time killing him, but... Um, I can't blame him for wanting to go for it a second time after I ran into it so stupidly the first time, but... You know, that's just getting greedy at that point, you know. Alright... Okay. Are you done sarcastic clapping? I hope so. I can't handle much more sarcastic clapping. I fucking hate sarcastic clapping. Got him! Holy shit, that move is such a good roll catch. So it's got really, really good tracking, it seems. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that if that guy had rolled a second time, I definitely wouldn't have caught him. So it's not, like, the best tracking. Um, but uh, it seems to be good enough to track at least one roll while locked on. And it just, it has a lot of priority throwing out that many hitboxes. I mean, I would say that, uh, you know, just like Dark Souls 2, you've really got to watch for when you use that weapon art because it's super easily parried. Um multi-hitting attacks in the Soul series have always been easy to parry. Um, and uh, that is no different with this one. Because basically all you have to do is wait till it's right about to hit you and then hit L2. You don't have to time it or anything. Just wait till it's like basically hitting you and then press L2. And you'll end up getting hit by like the first stab. But then out of all those million other little stabs that come out, your parry frames are still active for some reason. And you end up getting the parry anyway. And that, I, that that's been a thing in Souls for a little bit now. Um, and it is no different in this game, so you definitely have to watch for that shit. That was one of the things that made Twin Blades so hard to use. Oh, man. Holy shit. John, meet your maker, my friend. Oh, my God! Oh, that was beautiful! That was fucking... Ah! Uh, that was a spicy meatball! A work of art, truly. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> this weapon is amazing. This thing is fucking fantastic. Wow. Huh. I liked the e-stock when I was using it, but it was it was missing something, you know? Just a little bit of that zest, a little bit of that spiciness. And Ricard's Rapier brings that in spades. The weapon art is so much fun to use. And it's actually, like, not even half bad with Karthus Rouge on it. I mean, I have only managed to bleed one person, but, uh... It doesn't seem like it's really all too bad to do the fact that it hits so many damn times. I wonder if the Pontiff's Eye Ring would, like, be a good choice for this. I've never really noticed it give a significant boost, so I've never really, like, felt like, uh, using it, but... Can I reverse with this? No, you can't. Damn. One more try. Nope. Okay. Cool. The forward R1, that's the backflip uh, stab on the uh, curved swords, you can actually reverse it if you just... If you um, press down on the analog stick 
right after pressing forward R1, you get like a reverse backflip. You get like a flip that goes forward, so a front flip in a way. And what's important about that is that the, um, the flip on that move actually has hyper armor. And so you can actually hyper armor reverse swag step. You can hyper armor reverse swag step like through a great sword swing and just end up right behind them and you still take the full brunt of the damage so you know you gotta make sure you have enough health to be able to do it but you can actually just backstab somebody off of that like pretty damn easily um it's pretty nice something that i'm working on a little bit while i practice up for my shuttle training room that will be coming soon Yep, I figured I'd just take the trade. I have played fancy enough. Leave my presence, good sir. Good duel, man. Good duel. Let's grab somebody else. Mr. Davis Kane. Damn, this thing is fucking good. And it's very, very fun to use. Um, I think that it's got some very clear-cut weaknesses, though. <laughs> um, one of those being... That, uh, you know, once R1 mashers pick this thing up, Rapier uh, R1 speed has been decreased to the point where you can reliably face tank parry them. So, you know, R1 mashers are not going to have a very easy time with this weapon. The other issue is that the weapon art has a very, very long wind-up. And uh, in that wind-up, your opponent could just get ready to parry it. And like I was saying, oh, he dropped me something. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's do this now. <laughs> He's got the cosplay going in full force right now. Oh man, I forgot it could do that. I don't know how I forgot it could do that. But for some reason I was just like, as long as I hit him before it's fully charged, I'll get the punish, right? Nope. Forgot it had a regular weapon art as well. That is a damn good sword. I'm going to use that very soon. Ouch. Good bait. I don't know why I keep falling for it, but good bait. You're making me nervous. You're making me real nervous, Sigmire. I don't like it. Oh my god, great punish. Get a little bit of damage in there. Woo! That was weird. I am so glad the tracking took care of the lag for me. Got him! Holy shit! Yeah, that thing attacks a lot. And, uh, you know, some of the other rapiers, like I was saying earlier, have the stance weapon art where their R2 is similar to Ricard's, but where um, it's sort of both a blessing and a curse for Ricard's. But Ricard's, the stabs, are they last way longer. They hang out there for a while. So that is a blessing because you get much more damage potential out of it with more hits. You get much more bleed potential if you want to run like a bleed Ricard's build, although I wouldn't really recommend it. It's not bad, but I figure with a bleed build, you'd probably have to run the weapon art like a lot. Like you would have to use that for most of your hits if you're trying to really get that bleed proc off. But, um... Uh, yeah, with the other rapiers, they have, like, a much shortened version of the Ricard's weapon art. And, uh, so, Ricard's does have a unique weapon art, despite it looking very similar to the other ones. Damn. Even after all those hits, I couldn't get through that hyper armor. I guess I got through it a little bit, but... Holy shit! Oh my god! Swag steps are real with this weapon. They are fucking real. They seem to be really good with anything that has a thrusting backstep attack. Like, the thrust backstep is, like, definitely the best reverse backstep attack you could ever ask for. It's so fucking good. So easy to parry, though. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting most of these reverse backstep follow ups for free, because if someone tries to do that to me, like, once they, like, step and they have their back facing towards you, as soon as they go to turn around, you just fucking press L2, and that's it. You know, and it's very obvious that they're going to be going for some kind of sprinting attack because of the fact that they're doing a reverse back step. It's not like that's the only option you get out of a reverse back step, but uh, that's the option most people are going to go for. Um, 
Oh my god, this is a cool mirror match. Yes, please. This is awesome. Damn. Damn. Whoa! Okay. Alright, so it can be parried. The forward R1 can absolutely be parried. It just got parried right there. So, um... I don't know. It must just be a, like a tricky parry timing, really. And, uh... I'd reckon he got a little bit lucky there. Since he partialed... Yes! That's alright. We'll parry him back. But yeah, he partial parried my first R1. And the game gave him the parry on the forward R1 anyway, so it kind of seems like you have to be like a mind reader to parry that thing. Uh, because it comes out so quick, I'd imagine you have to parry it entirely based off of prediction, and a very, very heavy prediction at that. Um, so, I, I'm thinking the only reason that guy got that parry was because he, um... It partialed my first one, and the forward R1, I would assume, comes out so fucking fast after the R1 that the active frames actually ran into the active frames on the parry that was still hanging out there, despite the fact that I partialed, I, I, um, uh, partialed his first parry. So that's, like, strange, you know, you would think it would just be... Um, a punish, and if I had just done a regular R1 after that, that parry definitely would not have worked. But, uh, yeah, he technically parried two attacks in a single parry, so that's that's very, very interesting. I guess it kind of treats R1 forward R1 as a multi-hitting attack, because it comes out so fast, so it would make sense, since that's exactly what happens with a multi-hitting attack. Anytime you uh, parry it, like, right as it hits you, like with that charge attack that I got on him, uh, I partialed the very first hit, but then the second hit runs into the still active frames of the parry, so that's fucking weird. Oh, but now we're getting the swag. The swag in. This guy's not using a parrying weapon, so I'm not as scared. Man, that is good information to know. That that is basically a multi-hitting attack. Oh, man, good punish. Oh, you didn't turn it around enough. Quick tip for all you Black Knight Greatsword users out there who are looking to score that combo. So, when you uh, turn your character around to hit them with the tail end of the sword... Um, maybe I should finish this guy off really quick, considering I could die in a single, like, two-handed R1 combo. I'm just randomly throwing it out now. That's really stupid. I should just kill him. God damn, he is very good at staying mobile. I'll give him that. He corrected that mistake pretty quick. I was just thinking, you do not want to roll forward against a rapier. Oh, damn, and then he rolled forward against a rapier. Ugh. <laughs> good duel, man. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, Ricard's, uh, fucking A. Oh yeah, the Black Knight Greatsword combo. That's what I wanted to talk about. The Black Knight Greatsword combo, my friends, is, uh, pretty tricky. Because you have to, um, where is the FP regenerating ring? I don't remember what it's called. Ah, fuck it, I don't even need it. Um, but, uh, yes, the combo on the Black Knight Greatsword. So, you want to land that first R1, the chop down, as close as you possibly can to your opponent. You want to be, like, chest to chest, man to man. You want to be like, come at me, bro. And you smack him with that shit. After you get the stagger, you have to confirm the stagger, because if you don't confirm the stagger, you can get punished if you try to charge up the R2. But after you confirm the stagger, start charging up your R2. And hold your left analog stick... Not straight down, but down into the right or down into the left. Slightly. 
This will because this is because when you hold it straight down, the tail end of the sword when it comes out comes out at a weird angle, and unless they are like directly in front of you, which almost never happens, you're probably going to miss them with it because it comes out at a slight, slight, slight angle. Um, so in other words, you have to compensate for that angle when you're going for the combo. It's definitely the hardest combo to pull off in the game, uh, but it is oh so satisfying when you do. So keep it up, my friend. Don't give up hope. Oh, that wasn't a parry. Fuck the parrying dagger. God damn it. I gotta stay with it and get good. Oh, shit. That was bad. I can't believe I fell for that. All right. All right. All right. Rapier R2s go through shields, right? I'm pretty sure they do. I'll have to hit them with one of them. Oh my god, my spacing was so fucking horrible. Ah! That time I stood too close. Boom! He didn't know what to do to that reverse back stuff. He just kind of stood there dumbfounded. What is this foreign technology? I think... It is finally time for me to hit the bonfire, and we are like 20 plus minutes into this video. We're actually almost at the end. Holy shit. Have I lost yet? I don't even remember. This weapon is pretty fucking nuts. This weapon's pretty damn good. It is kind of absurd how good it is. I mean, you have to, uh, you have to stay unpredictable with a very predictable moveset, which is kind of like the hard part about it. Um... But really, the thing is, is like, when you go... I find that when I'm using a rapier and I go up against people with parrying tools, they are super obvious in their parrying attempts. Because it's it's fairly easy to parry a rapier, even though you do have to parry it on reaction, so it is, like, not nearly as easy as, like, parrying a spear, for instance. But, um... Uh, you do have to predict it, because it comes out lightning fast. But, uh, the thing is, is that... I don't know, something something about parrying rapiers, it just feels like the active frames on your parrying tool of choice is more forgiving, in a way. Um, it's just like, every time I go for one, I'm almost surprised when it works sometimes, you know? I'm just like, whoa, I feel like I didn't time that right at all. So it seems to be like a pretty lax timing, and so most people are gonna try to parry you. And the ones who are trying to parry you are typically really obvious about it, so it's not real hard to like keep them guessing um although i would be curious to see how this works out like in a viewer fight club or something maybe i'll use it next saturday um because against like generally um better players i think it would be a little bit harder to stay as unpredictable as i've managed to for this video Oh, he did not want to go for the rolling attack. <laughs> Jumping attack has no range on it, <laughs> rightfully so. This weapon can't have everything. Okay, now I need to calm down so I can actually win this fight. Oh my god. I did it. I finally got it. I finally, finally, finally did the reverse backstep backstab. I have been trying for that for ages, and it finally happened. Holy shit, that felt amazing. That felt like landing my first FADC in Ultra in Street Fighter. That felt like the first time I had sex. That was fantastic. Actually, it was significantly better than the first time I ever had sex. The first time I ever had sex was really bad. It was really awkward, and they could probably make a Lifetime movie out of it. Uh, so we're not going to talk about that shit. But the point is, that was fucking awesome. And that is a giant fuck you to everybody who said that reverse backstepping is a useless piece of tech. Holy shit. Whoo! Gotta tone down the hype. 
because I do not want to ruin this perfect win record. I'm going to feel really stupid if I lost one and just didn't remember, which is entirely possible. I have a terrible memory. All right, Solace, you are the last fight of this video, my friend. Is your butt prepared? Okay, maybe my butt needs to be prepared. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, get out of there. Oh my god, I got so fucking lucky. I don't even think I need to explain how lucky that was. I decided to test R1 into weapon art to see if I could force him to roll away. Not a good idea. R1, R1 in the weapon art. And only after you have confirmed they are going to roll away. Otherwise, that could have led into an extremely painful backstab lesson. Oh my god, I'm so glad they toned down rapier tracking. Compared to uh, Dark Souls 2, at least. I don't know if they've toned it down in this game or not. It doesn't really need to be. I think it's pretty spot on. I was pretty surprised when that R1, R1 did not land. Because in Dark Souls 2, they, they, I mean, these things were like, they had like fucking laser sights on them. It was ridiculous. Good punish, good punish. I'm so glad I didn't get hit by the roll punish attempt, which was an excellent attempt, might I add. That was good. That came very close. God damn it. Ah... Got him! Fuck yes! Okay, so not the most stylish last duel in the world, but I don't give a fuck! That reverse backstep, backstab, oh my god! I'm still freaking out about that. You guys have a fantastic day, and praise the sun. I will see you for the next video. Later.